well thinking about starting your career in devops but not sure where to start well you are not alone because every beginners have these kind of questions like what i need to learn in which order should i have to learn these devops tools and how to get a uh, entry level jobs so if you have these kind of questions you are in the right place because today i will discuss everything and i'm very excited to share complete step by step roadmap and will help you to getting your first job so do not skip this video and watch till the end because this video will be very interesting and informative so before starting this video please take a second and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that i will be motivated we will considering 6 months of learning these entire essential tools that is in a high demand and also i will share all the resources and the projects and if you need to do some courses i will share that and second thing i will discuss about how to apply a jobs what are the common mistake people are doing but do not skip that video please watch the entire video so that you will have the complete image that what needs to be learned okay because i'm going to share from the scratch you will get a lot of benefits with this video okay the first thing whatever i am learning it i used to create my planner so that i can manage my activities that what i am doing right so this is i will share with you because i have a lot of things in my mind to discuss but i will share directly with you you can follow step by step this thing and you will get a jobs okay so the first two weeks i will consider to learning about the software development life cycle in here i will learn about how software industry work what are the reason for using devops tool what was the previous methodology and what is a scrum agile devops what is a pipeline the basic concept of the fundamental of the software industry okay then in the second week you can learn about the virtualization how virtualization work how to create them simple go to the aws create a simple virtual machine with the ec2 instance if you don't know how to create them you can watch my videos i already have uploaded over there okay with the virtualization you can learn about some basic networking i would say why we need to learn networking because each and every servers are connected on privately on on premises on on cloud so you need to learn about how nat bridges connection work what is ip mac it is dns load balancer ha proxy uh, a lot of concept but i would say again just learn about some basic concept i will share some resources with you that that you will able to learn it okay once i know about the fundamental i will learn about the linux okay and i will take one week for learning about the basic linux command like how to create the files how to edit them how to manipulate that but i will not go with the advanced topic like awk command and delimiters and um, how to how cron jobs work i will not go with that just learn about the basic and with the next week on a fourth week i will use to create a simple batch scripting okay shell scripting again i will try to create a simple shell scripting i will not go with the advanced topic so learn about the shell scripting concept how to create a simple shell script do not go with advanced topic i will discuss later okay so this 6 months i'm just assuming the first 3 months we will talk about all the tools the basic tools then we will discuss about the advanced tools projects and how to apply a jobs okay now in the 5th week we will learn about the version controller system and you need to learn about git and github learn about the git commands and how to connect with the github branches how to merge them and what is merge conflict learn about that then after that you can go with the ansible tool so in the 6th or 7th week learn about the ansible okay what is infrastructure as a code how to create a basic playbooks once you know about ansible i will take 2 weeks for understanding about the docker okay i will learn about what is microservices how it is different than with the monolithic applications and then again we will learn about the containerization how to create a containers with the public images how to create a container how to create a docker files for creating a private images in the 10th week you need to learn about the jenkins so ci cd pipeline so jenkins is a ci cd release pipeline tool that help you to do the complete automation for from where the developers write a code it will build the code then it will test the code and it will deploy in the server for entire process you can do in a automate way with the jenkins okay so you can use C- uh, github actions also github action tool also but i would say jenkins because you will find a lot of content and you will find a lot of documentations also so jenkins in the 10th week okay once you know about jenkins i would say because now you know about containers okay i would say take a two weeks 
for understanding about the orchestration tool which is a kubernetes because when you're creating a containers you will understand that managing containers is more important than creating containers okay so learn about kubernetes and do not go with the advanced topic again we will discuss about that just simply understand how architecture work about the Kubernetes, why we are using Kubernetes and how to use it, of course. And then probably we will discuss about that. Now we have completed three months and we, ha we have knowledge about Linux, shell scripting, Git and GitHub, Ansible, Docker, Jenkins and Kubernetes. Now learning these skills and getting an entry level job is not an easy task. Companies are really expecting from freshers to know all these tools and have some certifications. So if you are in this situation, we all know that Geeks for Geeks is one of the most trusted platform and this DevOps engineering course is live course with 14 plus hands on AWS labs on project based learning and additional benefit you will get one on one mock interviews and job preparations. They will also review your resume and will guide you with the right mentorship and will help you to get in the entry level job. So if you're really interested to invest in yourself or in your career, I would recommend to join this course before April because they are running amazing 390 challenge. Means if you completed 90% of the course within a 90 days, means three months, you will get 90% refund of your fees. So don't miss this chance and get certified with Geeks for Geeks and you will find the link of this course in the description. Now it is time to learn about Terraform. When it is come to the infrastructure, we need to do some automation over there so that our process for the automation we can do with the Terraform, okay? So it is an infrastructure as a code tool. Once you know about the Terraform, in the 16th week, I would prefer, I would prefer to learn about the cloud services. The reason is, everything is now we all are moving forward to the prom on premises to the cloud okay so you can take any cloud services like aws azure or gcb but for my recommendation go with the aws because aws market value is very high and there are a lot of jobs opening is uh for the aws okay so if you know about aws you will easily get a, a cloud devops engineer jobs or maybe a cloud devops a cloud jobs so you should have to know about uh, AWS. You can learn about Azure also, but uh, start with the AWS, okay? Now it is time to learn some advanced topic. So three weeks, I would say go with the Kubernetes. Learn about how to do auto scaling for the applications. What is PV and PVC, okay? And how to securely deploy the ports, okay? How to create a cluster, entire cluster with the Kubernetes and how to replicate the ports, okay? So that thing, uh, you need to learn it. Then take three weeks again to improve your programming languages. I would say learn the advanced shell scripting where you can learn about uh, if else condition cases and loops and function, how to call them. Just create a shell script that can help you in automation. Okay. So learn about the advanced shell scripting. And if you got time, just learn with the ba uh, basic Python. Because if you know about the if else condition and other concept of the shell scripting, you will easily deal with the Python also because programming language concept are same, only the syntax is different okay so now it's time to understand and getting some knowledge for the monitoring tools because now the days uh, companies are expecting from the devops engineer to know about some uh, prometheus grafana elastic search kind of tools okay so prometheus and grafana i would prefer for 23 and 24 week because you don't have to be perfect in it but you should have to know how to configuration for prometheus suppose if your server is going 95% up, okay, and you want to uh, you want you want to set some alarm that can once the servers go to the once the CPU utilization going to the going to be 95%, okay, I sh uh, our team should get the emails or like alerts, okay. So that kind of configurations you sh can create, you can do some setup, you can set some alarm in a workflow for the Prometheus. And Grafana is nothing, it's just for the visualization for the data. So I would say take a two weeks, learn about that, that's it. Now it's time to create a project because you learn all the tools, you might be created some basic projects between that also, you can consider that. But I would say come create an entire project that can help you to uh, with, with, the, with these all tools, okay? So if you don't know how to create a project, I would recommend to watch DevOps Shark videos. He's creating a lot of uh, DevOps projects with the corporate pipelines. Okay. 
so you can watch here videos on a youtube channel just search devops shark you will get that videos okay now we understand we have all the skills here okay you can take a screenshot for this entire roadmap and if you want to prepare for the interviews i also created some 50 questions for the interview based question you can take a screenshot for these questions i will try to i will also give you the drive link for the entire course which contains the roadmap interview based questions and learning material like uh, important links with the documentation but this is just a documentation okay so it is uh, also i have some ebooks which you can ref which you can read and uh, i will add more content on here okay so if you want this drive link comment below i will share the link with you okay so now it's time to build a resume and apply your jobs i'm going to give you five tips and tricks and common mistakes that people are doing that so the first tip is try to apply for other title jobs also with the same kind of job description because when you search only devops engineer you most you mostly see that they are asking for the experienced people because they want experienced people as a devops but try to search with the keywords like kubernetes or terraform or like other skills that you have it you will find a lot of fresher level jobs okay uh, so you can also take a screenshot for this with these five titles that you can try to search on linkedin or any another platform that you want and you can find easily job the second tips resume should contains clear objective with the projects with the certifications if you have it if you don't have try to show them what you did okay what are the skills you have but projects should be there okay if you don't have any projects you won't be able to select in a uh, first call because as a freshers you, they should consider as a project okay you should show them that this project i have done this project i have done with this project this the, these are the implementation and this is the benefits okay third tips is improve your soft skills the fourth mistake people are doing that and i saw this is a very common mistake which is a grammar mistake in a resume you can use chat gpt i would say or you can use any grammarly application for uh, checking your grammar mistakes so uh, try to use that okay the last tips that is a very helpful tips which is a build your network okay build your own network on linkedin try to share your knowledge try to uh, share your projects over there try to share your achievements certification that you have done and connect with the people share uh, simply send a messages do not share like uh, hey how are you because no one like to uh, reply for that simply ask people that have some experienced and they are like posting some jobs like a hr job hr people and simply send a message like uh, hey i saw your job post and i have these kind of skills and i have done these projects i really interested i i and i eager to learn and i eager to learn more skills with your companies can you refer me that pitch is really effective and you will definitely get uh, a lot of reference okay so i think once you implement these kind of changes in your life you will definitely get get a lot of jobs offers i hope your career more brighter and if you have any kind of doubt related to the devops site reliability engineer even if i miss something with this video please comment below i will try to make another video okay but please subscribe the channel and share with others so that they will get also benefits and see you in the next video thank you